On the Han River, Jin Su is ready to self-delete, but first he thinks about how he ended up here. A pal promised him worthwhile returns on certain investment, so Jin Su took a loan to participate, but the friend disappeared. For a long term he didn't solution any messages, till at some point he apologized due to the fact he couldn't deliver the money lower back. Jin Su became only a grocery save worker and couldn't pay the loan, so he began taking distinct jobs to make up for it. Alas he was useless and could simplest get fundamental positions, which continually paid little. Finally the mortgage sharks had been knocking on his door demanding fee, so Jin Su ran away and misplaced them by way of mingling amongst a crowd filming a movie. Jin Su gets geared up to leap however at that moment he receives some atypical messages. A big sum has been deposited into his financial institution account, so in go back he need to get within the vehicle. A limousine arrives and Jin Su receives in, but no one answers his questions. Minutes later he's dropped at a theater, where he reveals a table with cash, a pink envelope, and numbered playing cards. Within the envelope there's a notice explaining the situation. Jin Su is now in the 8 display, wherein contributors can alternate the time they're willing to waste for money. Meals and hotels are provided for free and cash accumulates as time passes. The display will end as soon as the allotted time is over or a participant dies. If Jin Su doesn't need to take part, he can take the money from the table to take a cab and leave. If he desires to play, he have to choose a range of. Once you have extra messages reminding him of his debt, Jin Su chooses number 3 and enters through the drapes. Because the door is closed behind him, Jin Su unearths a totally fancy area with a clock that suggests 24 hours. There are stairs going to 8 flooring and he realizes he must visit the 3rd. The lock opens with the card, and internal he's disenchanted to find an empty room with a display screen pretending to be a window, cameras, and a shoot. Inside he finds a uniform and a rule book. Each participant must change into the uniform and leave all personal belongings within the shoot. To look how an awful lot cash they've amassed they can take a look at the scoreboard. Meals and refuge are furnished without cost. If he needs to shop for something else he can use the intercom and the fee will be deducted from his prize. Matters to be able to be used outdoor the room must be sold at the principal square. Individuals need to live in their rooms from midnight until 8 a.m. and aren't allowed to block the cameras. Breaking any rule will make them lose half of their money. The display starts off evolved at nighttime and Jin Su notices he handiest has a minute left, so he fast puts at the uniform while the lights flash to signify the display is beginning. The scoreboard shows he's amassed 30,000, quickly going up to 60 after which 90 as minutes skip. Jin Su can't assist standing in the front of the display screen and watching his cash develop, making calculations of how an awful lot he'll get with the aid of the give up. All at once he wishes to pee and recalls he can't depart the room, so he makes use of the intercom to invite about at toilet but no one answers. Soon he begins feeling bloodless and asks for blankets, handiest to learn they value a million. As a substitute he buys some cardboard and newspapers to sleep on, plus a plastic bottle to pee in. The following morning Jin Su wakes up to discover he's amassed a lot of cash. At that moment he hears some other participant telling all of us to pop out so they are able to introduce themselves. He enters the predominant square and discovers all the things there are fake. There's no restroom both. The group additionally notices that the clock now says 36 hours instead of 24. They wonder how shopping for things in the square works and participant 6 decides to ask for cigarettes and a lighter. Because the gadgets seem inside the chute, the time on the clock is going down. Yang runs to her room on the second floor to check on her scoreboard and confirms her cash is the same. It appears things on the rectangular are offered with time, but the organization realizes they could spend an excessive amount of or the display could over too quickly and they want to win extra money. They speak what counts as necessities and ultimately they purchase eight plastic buckets, restroom paper, pads, garbage bags, and cigarettes. All people grabs the buckets and runs to their rooms to alleviate themselves. Moments later most of the institution is starting to get hungry and say RA from room 8 is surprised to hear this due to the fact she's already acquired 12 meal kits. They realize everything is added to the top ground and since they are able to go away their rooms with gadgets, they should try to send the food down the chute. The group is going to say RA's room on the final ground and are bowled over to discover a large room decorated by fancy matters. Say RA sold a bunch of stuff because her money rate is extremely excessive. The others percentage their very own costs and realize the lower the ground, the much less they make according to minute. A flashback shows Sayari arriving on the theater in an elaborate dress and dropping her coffee at the carpet. She selected wide variety 8 with the aid of chance and when she entered the square she attempted leaping in the pool, best to hit her face at the fake water. In her room, she changed into the uniform and used her cigarette to burn her antique clothes. She commenced to shop for fancy things till her budget reached zero, but considering that her costs were so excessive after one minute she already had plenty of money again. When they dispatched her the meal packs, she used all the water bottles to take a bath. Inside the present, the group checks out all the rooms and note the one at the first ground is tiny. It belongs to Sangook, who selected it because he has an awful leg. Then the group sends the meal kits down the chute to the primary floor and Philip from floor 7 comes up with a plan. Every of them will take one box every day, and if every person wishes more, the last packing containers must be percentage with the others. While all people is ingesting, CRA makes use of nearly all the time to purchase exceptional garments. The group is furious and starts insulting her until she exhibits that by going up and down the stairs, the time increases again. The individuals start doing that without tons organization however the clock nonetheless hits zero. Thankfully it right away resets to 24. That night time many individuals purchase something fundamental for their rooms, like a blanket or a portable potty. For the next few days, they spend all their hours jogging and going
going to bed exhausted. The food isn't enough to preserve up this a lot exercise, so that they make a plan. They divide the organization in teams of four, and each team will run each different day, that manner they get to relaxation. However additionally they simplest eat on the days they work. Whilst Sangu can't maintain up with the speed because of his terrible leg, player six grabs his hand and hurts it to pressure him to paintings. Chun Jia from ground decides to help and runs in his region. The equal factor happens days later, and this time Jinsu takes over. The others assume Sangu shouldn't consume if he isn't working, but Chun Jia calls them out for trying to starve a man or woman. As days bypass the members purchase more gadgets for his or her rooms, however they're also gathering trash. Feeling responsible approximately now not being able to run, Sangu volunteers to hold all the trash in his room. Sooner or later Philip notices irregularities on the clock. The time didn't move up at all nowadays at some stage in the running, but even as all of us is resting it receives 10 minutes. Sayara broadcast she received run anymore and doesn't care approximately the other's proceedings, announcing she observed the negative ones used the shared time to purchase their necessities and that's no longer her trouble. After strolling for 6 hours, they observe a time growth of 20 minutes and assume their day of labor will catch up quickly. The subsequent morning they discover they didn't get any more time and it's approximately to run out. The organization at once starts off evolved going for walks again until Yang has a seizure. Moon Yum from floor 5 is a nurse and recognizes it as epilepsy, so she mentions the medicinal drug she wishes. Chun Jia rushes to shop for it however participant 6 stops her saying she won't die from a seizure in order that they shouldn't waste their previous few minutes. This triggers a fight wherein all of them begin hitting every different to make the acquisition or stop the battle. Jin Su manages to escape the chaos and reaches the intercom to quickly ask for the medication. Unexpectedly Sayara laughs and factors on the clock, which now suggests 40 hours. Because the medicine seems in the shaft, the organization appears at the cameras within the square and realize their combat counted as leisure, that is what the display wishes. A flashback then indicates Philip's arrival. He idea cautiously before choosing variety 7 and whilst he entered his room, he at once did all the important cash calculations to ask for a table, pen, and paper to begin taking notes about the display. Inside the gift the group realizes how matters paintings, watching them discern out the system and jogging for time become enjoyable before everything. But it became uninteresting after some days and that's why they didn't get paid. Jin Su tries doing a mudbang with a few ASMR in his room, but it doesn't work. The group meets to speak about what to do subsequent and conform to do a skills display, that way they can strive a spread of things and notice what works. Philip is going first and performs the recorder together with his nostril in a totally marvelous performance that receives them 24 hours. They comply with do the complete show the following day and speak for how long they need to stay in the game. Given that Sanguk is the only that makes the least money they permit him select, and he explains he desires 1 billion. This indicates they'll want around 75 days. Before going to bed, they purchase the props they'll want for his or her overall performance. But Jinsu can't sleep because he has no expertise and doesn't realize what to do. The next day the expertise show unfolds. Moonyum sings and earns 10 hours, at the same time as participant 6 breaks a few bricks and earns 15. Chun Jia also breaks some bricks and adds a few high kicks, so she gets them 17 hours despite the fact that she hurts her wrist in the process. Yang does a few yodeling, which receives the most effective too. Jin Su tries to do a stupid dance and Simplest gets 18 minutes. The usage of a spread of props, Sanguk shines as a clown and receives 30 hours. When it's Sayare's turn, she proclaims her skills as doing the naughty and players 6 volunteers as her accomplice. This earns them 69 hours. The following morning Sanguk points out they aren't strolling anymore so he could want to speak about the trash state of affairs, considering that his room is complete. After lots of arguing, they agree they'll vote on which room will hold the trash subsequent. They get a complete day to think about it, so they spend it speaking to each different in secret to try to buy votes. The next day, they use paper to make the votes anonymous. Jin Su and Sayara each get three votes, and after finding a clean one, they open the closing vote, which is going to Sayara. At the beginning she plays alongside however later she locks her room so nobody can enter. Tomorrow, she doesn't send the meals kits to the opposite floors. Some other flashback shows Yang's arrival. She became very indecisive about which quantity to choose, and at first she took eight. Most effective to then trade it to four. She sold the cheapest bedding and a few put up it notes to position up messages that stored her influence. Inside the gift the group is ravenous and pleading with Sayara dozen paintings. Moon Young even starts off of all hallucinating. In the end Jin Su and Yang volunteer to hold the trash because they did badly at some stage in the expertise show. Philip informs Sayara about the brand new arrangement and she agrees to ship food again once they let her purchase a bunch of clothes with their shared time. Sometime later Sayara says they have to play the king game as their subsequent form of leisure. The use of eight balls, they write seven numbers and the letter okay. Whoever gets the okay is the king for one spherical and gets to tell the numbers in their desire what to do. Moon Yum receives the K first and makes participant 6 and Philip maintain arms. Next Yang makes Sanguk and Moon Yum share a chaste kiss. Thus far they've simplest earned 90 minutes, so they need to assume higher dares. Whilst Sayara gets the king, she tells Chun Jia to French kiss Jin Su, however she refuses. Instead Sayara tells her to fight player 6. The fight begins and it's clear that Chun Jia is training because she keeps overpowering 6 times over and over again. Unfortunately her wrist injury from the expert display starts off of all hurting and six uses the threat to advantage the top hand he brings Chun Jia down and begins beating her up with unleashed fury the others have to reduce in and prevent him from killing her this offers them 50 hours in a while the instant
constitution discusses the way to continue with the game when you consider that a few human beings are involved about their protection. Yang proposes a brand new rule. They can select to choose out from a dare, however they'll be punished with the aid of getting tossed. The game keeps the following day and chun -Ja joins them regardless of her accidents. Sayari receives to be king once more and she asks jin -Soo to touch Moon Young under the shirt. jin -Soo can inform Moon Young is uncomfortable so he opts out and gets tossed. The institution worries when they word he's passed out and wetted his pants, however they admit it's essential after they see they've earned 60 hours for it. Tomorrow they preserve playing and Yang announces she'll turn a coin. Player 6 and chun -Ja should bet what side it lands on, and in the event that they get it incorrect they'll get tossed. 6 guesses correctly however chun -Ja doesn't, so she gets tossed and wets her pants as nicely. This gives them 48 hours. Tomorrow marks a month for the reason that show started out. Sayari receives King once more and makes chun -Ja and jin -Soo slap each other till one surrenders. Due to the fact that chun -Ja may be very sturdy, jin -Soo offers up fast and gets tossed again. Within the night, Sangu calls chun -Ja and jin -Soo to his room to tell them the game is rigged. He realized the top flooring are towards them whilst he noticed Yang overlaying the coin to control the result. They inform Philip about it, who asks them now not to say anything till they discover proof. In a while Philip catches Yang manipulating the balls. She's been placing acetone on the okay ball to make it sticky and always discover it inside the box. He tells her that some human beings already suspect her, so she has to play first rate if she desires to keep away from results. The next day everyone is greatly surprised while Sangu gets to be king. He orders Yang to toss a coin for gamers and make certain she doesn't cover it this time. Sayari guesses incorrect and Philip receives equipped to taste her, however player 6 pushes him to the ground and tases him rather, announcing audiences like plot twists. Any other flashback indicates participant SIXS arrival. He become consuming and didn't care that he spilled ketchup everywhere. He picked a card at random and later in his room he thankfully undressed for the cameras. On his first night time, he best ordered a pillow. Inside the present, Philip wakes up in CRA's room. Player 6 explains that the way the arena works is exceptional and on account that Philip is so clever he need to be teaming up with the upper floors, now not defending the losers from the lowest. Philip has no choice but to play along due to the fact he notices 6 has acquired an awful lot more potent taser. Then 6 puts a cage on the intercom inside the primary rectangular and destroys all of the intercoms in the decreased ground. In a while the pinnacle floors announce that the decreased flooring will be the most effective ones operating. If they decline, they won't get meals. In the event that they earn enough time playing the games selected by means of the pinnacle flooring, they'll get coins to buy the meal kits or things from the rectangular chute. One coin is equal to three hours. Whilst chun -Ja attempts to protest, player 6 threatens her with the effective taser. Sanguk attempts to attack them, so player 6 kicks him down and tases chun -Ja whilst she tries to retaliate. Then 6 steps on Sanguk's leg, which earns them masses of hours. Then Philip explains their new wonderful tactic. They've written extraordinary video games on the balls and the lower flooring should pick a ball to decide every day's sport at random. Each sport is designed to have a winner and the losers will be punished. jin -Soo grabs a ball and today's game is cover and are looking for however with a twist. Every participant has a body component protected with leather based earlier than they run to hide. Then the pinnacle floors search for them and hit them when they discover them. A blindfolded chun -Ja by chance hits participant 6 when she's startled. So 6 starts off evolved beating her up with such brutality that Philip has to forestall her. Moon Young and Sangu quickly move down. So jin -Soo is the winner. The losers get their faces blanketed in tape and jin -Soo is blindfolded. After he's given a bat, he need to spin around for some seconds and then hit someone randomly. Sanguk is the poor man who ends bleeding at the floor, and the game earns them 26 hours. This equals 9 coins, but they ought to write on a bit of paper how many they want. If the full surpasses 9, they'll get nothing. They don't get to speak to each different, so it's good fortune primarily based. Happily all and sundry writes down two besides Jin Su, who only wrote one. That night time he doesn't consume, he handiest drinks water. The following day, the game is 20 questions. Sayare will think of something and the decreased floors should bet it asking simplest 20 questions. Thinking chun -Ja may want to insurrection if she gets the bat, the opposite three guess incorrect on purpose to let her win. Alas on the grounds that she's blindfolded, she ends up hitting Munyo. These days their chosen numbers add to 10 coins, in order that they don't get paid. Phillips tells them that whoever leaves first gets one coin, but they do not want to move. Player 6 gives 10 cash as a substitute and Munyo accepts it, claiming it's due to her diabetes. That night time jin -Soo doesn't devour again and hallucinates the pinnacle floors appearing at his window to mock him. After some days of sadistic video games Sanguk manages to disguise a word in chun -Ja's and jin -Soo's pockets. His plan is to give a signal so the opposite two would visit his floor by way of using the delivery chute that is big sufficient to healthy in person. Tomorrow Philip whispers to jin -Soo that the chute makes noise. This makes them realize that transferring the chute will alert the top flooring. They determine to head beforehand with the plan anyway and in the course of the recreation Sanguk says his belly is hurting, which is the signal. That night chun -Ja and jin -Soo move to the first round. Sanguk begins screaming in his room soliciting for help and the top floors come down to analyze. The door is opened and participant 6 guesses the duo is at the back of them, so he surprises them and begins beating them up with the bat. A terrible combat starts on top of the poop baggage and Sanguk manages to bite 6's leg. jin -Soo opens the door to escape, but Sara is ready with the taser. 6 takes it from her and gets ready to supply punishment, however Philip yells they need to circulate. It turns out he removed the battery from the taser while he turned into eating with the others in ground 8.
eight, and now Chunja can without difficulty punch six to knock him out. A brand new flashback suggests Chunja's arrival. Room two became the most effective floor left for her, and as soon as she were given to her room, she started out working out. Within the gift, the lower floors tie the pinnacle flooring up, and Sanguk uses the threat to hit player six a few instances as revenge. Philip doesn't justify his moves, and says he's sorry, so that they decide to preserve him unfastened. This entire rebellion earns them masses of hours too. Later on they lock up the top flooring in their respecting rooms and use ground eight as a communal room. On account that they can't order food and drink, they order a chemistry set to make alcohol themselves. That night time they take a seat round the fireplace and pretend they have higher meals. Chuja publicizes the show has crossed the line and desires to quit it quicker, so she offers to pay the money Sanguk needs to entire the billion along with her personal prize. The group concurs and start spending their time resting. They eat well however in addition they make certain to feed the higher floors, who are still tied up and carrying diapers. Whilst there are only nine hours left, they say goodbye and desire every different proper success in existence. However inside the midnight the clock resets to 45 hours. The decreased floors take a look at on their prisoners, however there isn't anything ordinary that they may VE used to entertain. The subsequent morning the clock is going up to 52 hours and all and sundry wakes up to pay attention Yang screaming. They take a look at on her and find out a person pulled a tooth from her mouth. A suspicious Jinsu runs to participant 6 and gets rid of his shoe to discover all his toenails are missing. Chunja asks 6 why he didn't say something and he tells her to ask her pals, making her suspicious of every person. She needs a confession out of her pals, so Philip accuses her in return. In a while a paranoid Chunja locks up Jinsu, Philip, and Sanguk in their rooms, promising to send them food through the chute. She only shall we Moon Young out so she will take care of the upper ground gamers. Having to feed a gaggle of prisoners takes a toll on Moon Young's mental health and she or he starts hallucinating. She thinks Yang and Sara had been freed, so she goes to Six to deliver him the best news. Six manipulates Moon Young through telling her that Chunja became the one who took his nails and will kill him soon, so Moon Young hugs him. A flashback shows Moon Young arriving in very first class garments to the theater. She became very burdened, but she nevertheless agreed to play along. In the present, Moon Young wakes up to find out the sport is over and absolutely everyone is celebrating with meals and drinks. However, Chunja appears floating in front of her, heavily bleeding whilst threatening to kill her. A vicious combat blows out round her, revealing that is another hallucination. She's nevertheless hugging player six and proceeds to lose him. Later on, six frees the others and chaos takes over the principal rectangular as they proceed to punish the lower flooring for their rebellion. Moon Young Handiest gets tied up and six kisses her to thank her. Then six buys a gun and four bullets and needs to understand who took his toenails. However, considering that nobody confesses, he publicizes they'll play Russian roulette. Chunja is lucky and doesn't get a bullet, so Six beats her up with the bat. On Philip's turn, he receives shot in his leg. Whilst Six is about to shoot Sanguk, Jinsu receives in concept. They should purchase the security digital camera pictures to see who did it. Sara and Six run to ground eight and purchase the pictures to discover Sanguk took the nails and peed on Six's face. A livid Six desires to kill Sanguk, however Sara doesn't want the game to end so she chases Six and makes him give way the steps, breaking numerous bones. After grabbing the gun Sara ties every person up and locks them in their rooms, explaining she loves this place and never desires to leave. She buys the pictures of all the rooms and watching the others being in pain excites her, so she receives some intimate time with her personal hand. Tomorrow Sara realizes that they've achieved all of the sorts of violence they might in order that they need to do something new to earn more time. She chooses sleep deprivation torture, which means Sanguk, Chunja, Jinsu, and Philip are tied to chairs with water bowls around their necks and tools that keep their eyes open. They're also forced to observe violent footage all day lengthy whilst Yang and Moon Young act as their caretakers. Soon the gamers are begging for freedom and apologizing for all their actions. Sooner or later Jinsu starts off of all hallucinating and thinks the relaxation of the group is dancing around him. Sara spends her time looking the decreased floors get tortured and after a few days, she feels overwhelmed with emotion. She comes to a decision to make a huge portray about it, however it's simply her face. Nonetheless wanting more, she buys a dog. Now Yang has to smooth after the puppy too, which receives on her nerves. The subsequent time she exams on Sanguk, he apologizes for taking her teeth, but she doesn't care because she knows wanting money. Hearing this, Sanguk tells her it's possible to exchange rooms. A flashback shows Sanguk turned into a clown with a sick daughter. Because he couldn't pay the health center payments anymore, they kicked her out. Determined to assist her, Sanguk got coverage and then attempted to self-delete in the street visitors to make it appear like in coincidence. The moment were given interrupted while the limousine picked him up. While he arrived on the show, he chose first round due to his terrible leg and used the intercom to ask if it became possible to alternate rooms, so the display informed him at price 1 billion. That is why he's been requesting a billion all alongside. His plan has continually been to trade to room 8. In the prevailing Jinsu hallucinates he's underwater in a pool. Yang snaps him out of it and tells him Sanguk has a plan to bring down Sara. She doesn't sleep, so that they only have a short window of opportunity after her each day golfing consultation while she puts down the gun to take a bath. Considering that Yang is the one risking her existence to do all this, she'll be Chu's rooms first. Jinsu has the same opinion to assist, and so do Chun Jia and Philip. Moon Young has a condition and Yang consents to get her to join. In return, a thankful Moon Young shares her tale. 
She changed into married to a rich health practitioner who disrespected her and cheated on her. Moon Young ended up in the arms of a stranger that manipulated her to get heaps of cash from her, so this resulted in her husband suing her. Feeling bad for her, Yang hugs her. Regrettably, Sara sees the girls bonding and later becomes suspicious while Yang receives enthusiastic about golfing. Yang convinces her to play besides, and while they're inside the essential rectangular, Moon Young frees the others. In view that they've been tied up for goodbye, it's difficult for the players to walk and Sara's dog barks at all the motion on the steps. Sara decides to analyze, so Moon Young and Jin Su disguise on ground six. As quickly as he sees them, player six starts making noise, so Sara gets her gun ready earlier than establishing the door. When she's approximately to shoot, Yang knocks her out with a golf club. A new flashback shows that Yang labored as a valet lady and needed to address many impolite customers. One of those customers turned into a former classmate who mocked her for her dream of being an OK Pop idol and finishing up in an automobile parking space rather. Inside the present, Sara is tied up and the others cry because they're sooner or later loose. Moon Young reminds Yang of her circumstance and gets to order a few scientific gadget, which she makes use of to castrate player 6. He used to be a splendid baseball player until he became kicked out of the group for illegal gambling after which have become a car salesman. His boss scolded him for signing autographs at some point of painting's hours and 6 ended up beating him up. As soon as Moon Young completes her paintings, Jin Su says they must use Sara's cash to pay for the room alternate. However, Sanguk says he's been saving for this second and desires to do it with his personal benefit. Sanguk orders the alternate at the intercom, however, only an envelope seems within the shoot. It seems 1 billion only receives them the instructions on the way to make the change and every room has an character fee. The better the ground, the higher the rate and room 8 expenses 340 billion. As all of us has a breakdown, a flashback indicates that Philip was a scriptwriter whose paintings saved getting rejected for being too practical. The manufacturer informed him humans desire to escape the cruel reality through turning off their brains with mindless enjoyment, which Philip considered an insult in the direction of the audience. Chun Zha labored in creation and one and all her co-workers were given hurt because their boss made him overwork. He wished surgical treatment to live on and Chun Zha presented her financial savings to pay for it. Within the gift saying broadcasts he doesn't need to leave without the money for his daughter and grabs the gun. He ties everyone up and the hours move up while Sara laughs. She was a well-known artist whose career changed into ruin. In view that no person hired her anymore, she could display up outside fancy galleries to perform for donations, yet the wealthy human beings might best give her cash. Once all the gamers are tied to chairs, Sangook ties a rope from wall to wall to walk on it as a unique performance. Whilst he's approximately to complete he slips off the rope, however he holds on just in time and reaches the end. This offers him lots of time, so the others recognize he fails on reason as a part of the show. Subsequent he jumps on the rope at the same time as pretending to be outside and is going excessive enough to preserve onto a camera. Unfortunately his weight is too much and the camera falls off, crashing on the ground and beginning a hearth. Sangook manages to keep directly to the rope for a few seconds, however he slips and falls at the flames. Jinsu, Chunja, and Philip battle with their chairs till they subsequently unfasten themselves and run to put out the fireplace. Then they unfasten Moon Young, who says she doesn't have the device to deal with such severe burns. Chunja tries to open to the front door to no avail and Genus begs for assist in the intercom, however the handiest get extra hours. At that moment Jinsu realizes they ought to block the leisure, so he and Chunja begin destroying all the cameras till there's not an unmarried one operating. The doorway is nonetheless received open however the shoot does, revealing one extra digital camera. Jinsu runs to shoot it too and the clock reaches zero, which in the end opens the doors. Unluckily it's too overdue. Sangook apologizes for the whole thing and dies on the primary square. Sara thinks it's the precise ending. Jinsu runs out and finds the theater, wherein speakers play a recording of an target market clapping. A be aware in an envelope congratulates them for winning and guarantees the cash will appear in their bank accounts. Then the massive display suggests the phrases the cease. Afterward the organization leaves and learns they were interior for two and a half of months. Chunja tried to self-delete, but the tie she used broke and she failed. Jin Su slept for many days and had horrible nightmares. Every person had the money they won of their bank accounts, although Jin Su best were given one half due to the broken cameras. Desperate for closure, Jin Su holds a funeral for Sangook and puts huge signs and symptoms at the streets, hoping to get the alternative gamer interest. Chunja, Yang, and Moon Yum attend, however player 6 simplest sends a wreath. Jin Su tells the girls that he visited Sangook's family, but Philip had located them first. He gave them money and instructed them Sangook is operating distant places. Chunja admits she attempted to do the equal however couldn't find the circle of relatives like they did. Moon Yum gives them an update on Sara. She destroyed an art gallery and changed into sent to prison. After the funeral, the group goes returned to their normal lives. In the meantime, Philip eventually manages to sell a script referred to as the 8 display, primarily based on what passed off. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, leave a comment about your favorite movie, and we will make it next. Thanks for watching.